What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And this is still part of the group of videos that I'm pre-recording before I go on vacation. So that means I get to pick the weapon and the challenge. So today we're beginning the side Dark Aether. But if we go down, we got to restart the whole game. And since I am pre-recording these and we're not taking your suggestions, here are a few comments from people suggesting the size in the past. So shout out to you guys. But I think this is the last video I'm recording for Dark Aether before I get back from vacation. So feel free to leave your suggestion down below of what you want to see us do next. Anyways, we got our size here. We got these completely leveled up in multiplayer. Player, so that means we have absolutely no camos for these things in zombies. So we still need 750 kills. 50 kills while the enemies are stunned, distracted, whatever. 750 kills while it's pack a punch. 15 kills in Aether Shroud, Ring of Fire, or Frost Blast. 10 specials or elites. 10 kills rapidly 10 times. And of course, the most dangerous 20 or more consecutive kills with a side without getting hit. I hate this challenge. But we have all that to do. So let's go ahead and throw some attachments on here. You know, we got to go with the ball sack and the cock. And we're going to be going in with Aether Shroud. But once we get our Aether Shroud camos, done i'm probably going to switch my field upgrade to either frenzied guard or tesla storm and i think we're going to do this on firebase c because of that special jump you can do so let's go ahead hop in and try to get this thing done all right here we go driving on in with the twin and this should be interesting how i don't plan on going down but i never plan on going down and if we do we gotta restart this whole game which is gonna be a little bit annoying to turn power back on and everything but it is a melee weapon, so it shouldn't be too bad. But let's try to do that little secret jump. We jump right here. Ooh, make the climb. Let me jump right here. Right through the teleporter on round one. That is the coolest thing about the size. I remember seeing somebody do this like a day or maybe two days after they released. And then I think Treyarch like replied to them on Twitter. And they, they said, ah, we don't really care. You guys can keep that. Because for the longest time, it was people using like Aether Shroud, trying different methods just to skip the first door. For some reason, it became like a, a trend, like a challenge almost on this map. And they dropped the size in who ha that have like increased movement speed and like jump length. And I don't know if they intended it or not, but it's still pretty fun. It's really cool that they left it in. So, you know, every time I use the size, I got to go ahead and skip that first door here on Firebase. The one thing I don't like about these is that at around like round 30 or round 33, something like that. These things are no longer a one shot. I, they stop becoming a one shot pretty early here unless you have them ranked up. Like we already have them purple tier since we did the super Easter egg. But these things get really weak really fast, but you can swing them very fast. And if you have your melee tier leveled up, you can get health back from doing it. But they still feel pretty disappointing like damage wise once you're trying to get into like higher rounds with them. But I think we have enough money to start getting this first reactor on. So let's do that. Grind the rail. Oh, we just jumped right over it. Our jump is too great. Let's try that again. Let's jump earlier. Oh, clean. Let's get our first reactor on. Oh, our first reactor is already done. I didn't even realize. Let's start up our next one. That was a crazy jump. My controller drift is getting out of hand. Look at this. I'm not even touching my left stick and I'm still moving. So if anyone has any tips to deal with that, let me know. But we did get our second reactor online. Let's go ahead and grind this rail. We jumped right over it again. I always underestimate the jump with the sigh. Let's try jumping right here. Oh, clean. Let's get our third reactor started. Oh, and our third reactor is done. So I'm heading back and I'm getting pack a bunch right away. So if we do end up going down, it's going to take forever to get pack a punch back every time. Let's Aether Shroud real quick. Get our kills while on Aether Shroud. Also probably get some Jackrabbits here, maybe. We got two camos out of that. All right, bring me pack a punch. Even with this like really bad pack a punch camo, the size just looks so cool when you inspect them. Such a sick animation. But we need a perk here. Oh my god, my controller drift is going to drive me crazy. They're stamming up. I can't swing my size though because I'm drinking. And we got a pretty big group of zombies here. Let's stun them. Try to work on our stun kills. Oh, of course a nuke goes off when we're trying to get camo progress. It's every time. All right, well, let's just try to do our little juggy strike then. Come on, bunny. There we go. Now get over here before the zombies come. Please. They're spawning. No, don't knock me. If you knock me during this, don't count. Okay, we made it through. Now I have to try to hit the bunny in the air. Did I get it? Nope. What about now? Nope. Can I even reach it? There we go. What's up, Mimic? Night, night. Okay, yeah, grab me. That's cool. Go to sleep. Oh, sh all right, we went down. We got to restart. Damn it. Did not make it too far on this first run. There's our stats, just in case you're curious. And I'll, I'll see you guys when we get power on again. Reactor one is done. Reactor number two is complete. And reactor number three is done.
All right, we're just about right where we were when we died. Okay, so what are we grabbing this time? Let's grab Speed Cola, just so we can get Dark Aether faster or Aether Shroud. Same thing. Grab Pack-A-Punch back. Time to go for some Aether Shroud kills. I will say I do love how fast these things swing. It is so much fun. After using things like the sledgehammer and like any other slow swinging melee weapon, it's very refreshing to use this. Oh, and we already got our 15 kills while an Aether Shot, so we can switch out of this. But we do have one more left, so I kind of want to use it just because. Like, why waste a good field upgrade? So I'll save that for when we're doing our uh, Juggy Strike. All well, you guys can get on the decoy, so we can work on these challenges. There we go. And there's 20 while stunned or distracted. All right, bunny. Come on. Fly over to me. Almost there. There we go. All right, new goal. Don't die while in here. I know, kind of crazy, but I think we can do it. <laughs> I don't even know how we died last time. I think that mimic just took down my health, and then I immediately got slammed by another zombie. Let me see that mimic. Where are you at? Let's the shroud to it. Knock him out. Quick camo on him. We'll get these guys as they're running away. And now I'm switching to Tesla Storm. There we go. Get out of here, bunny. And goodbye, bunny number three. See you later, zombies. What do you got for me in here? Ray K, perhaps? Nope, they gave me the stoner. Give me Jug. Thank you. And now we can go back to working on our camos. Get all these guys trained up, and we'll get all of our stuns and distracted out of the way. Freeze. Oh, I hit myself with that stun. That sucks. Rip any jackrabbit progress that I had. There's our boundary camo. We got 30 while stunned and distracted and grudge. And right, what other perk can help us out here? Uh, probably death perception. That way we can start getting some scrap to buy those stuns. And stamina probably helps too. There's another jackrabbit medal. Let's go. We're at four jackrabbits now out of 10. We're getting close. I want to knock these out as soon as possible because they only get more difficult as rounds go by. So let me use my Tesla storm so they can't hit me and start knocking all these zombies out. We're almost done with our 10 kills rapidly too. And we're getting up there on our Pack-A-Punch. Speaking of Pack-A-Punch, let's use the machine and grab an ammo mod. What do I want right now? Let's get Shatter Blast. Why not? Go ahead, Spawn Mimic. Dumbass. All right, let's see if we can knock out the rest of these distracted kills. I think Shatter Blast might go off. We might not get too many, but let's see. Okay, yeah. That just destroyed them all. We got a few there, though. Not bad. All right, let's get Quick Revive so we can get our health back faster. And uh, let's get Mule Kick. Why not? All right, Mimic, freeze. Night, night. See you later. That's six special or elites out of, I think, 15, maybe 10. I don't remember. What perk should we get next? Let's go with PhD. Why not? Because now we can do a crazy slide and crazy jump. We can jump and slide and we move halfway across the map. Let's start at this wall. We'll sprint, slide. Okay, if the zombie wasn't there, we would have made it a lot further. Oh, let me clear out this horde real quick before we try that again. Stay in place. Thank you. Shatter Blast, take him away. Oh, there's Threshold. And another nuke going off while we're doing this. Fantastic. But we only have 10 more zombies to kill while they're stunned. So then we get rid of that and then just focus on playing. All right, we have an assault wave. This is the perfect chance to test out how far we can get just by sprinting and sliding. So sprint, jump, slide. We made it all the way over here. Oh my. <sighs> the stick drift's really annoying, but we made it to like right here from that wall, basically. Not bad. Oh, I almost forgot we didn't buy this door. We got to do our jump. <laughs> nope. Did not jump. Forgot to do the one part. <laughs> nope. Didn't make it. One more try. <laughs> Got it. Third time's the charm. Hey, why don't you leave that thing alone, buddy? There's our downfall camo. 250 kills while it's packed. Just need 500 more. All without going down. We go down. We got to completely restart, return on power, re-get pack a punch. It's a whole process. What are you doing, zombie? You all right, bud? There you go. You almost got it. Almost there. You're so close. All right, I'll see ya. He just swung at the wall in the crafting bench for a little bit and then walked away in embarrassment. I'm gonna have to put you down, pal. All right, let's go get pack two. All right, pack two, here we come. There we go. Let's get our stunned and distracted out of the way. As long as we get 10 here, we'll be fine. I think we got a good amount. I almost just went down. How's the storm? Go for it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done with our stuns and distracted now. Get a quick elite kill in there too. That should be a camo and a jackrabbit. We're going in. Is there any other perks we need? I guess elemental pop could be fun. Oh, now we're all done with jackrabbits. We can just play. So now all we need is our normal kills, our pack-a-punch kills, and our elites, I think. And then we're good. Let's upgrade our armor to three real quick. Spawn in mimic. See you later. That's 10 special or elites. I think we're done with those now. Now, probably a knock on wood moment, so I'm going to do it. But I don't think we're going to go down again. I don't think there's going to be any need to restart. But maybe I'm speaking into existence. Getting my commentator's curse right now. So I'm knock on wood. I think it's smooth sailing from here on out. We just had a bad run-in with a mimic in the upside down. 
Oh shit. I immediately started getting cornered. Oh, we got another assault wave. I almost forgot about those. Let's go ahead and grab pack punch three and let's make our way over there. But I think if we can make our way through all of this and get uh, like dark aether, we might just take this all the way to Orda and see if we can fight him. So I've tried taking out Orda with a melee weapon, I think maybe once before and I wasn't successful. I'm going to try and maybe do it again. So I know it's so much easier in Outbreak to take out Orda with a melee weapon, but I've never been able to do it here on Firebase. Uh oh, I don't have that much health. No. No way. I got to restart now. I was just saying a round ago that this won't happen. Guess what? I'm an idiot. <sighs> I was feeling real tough, going right at their portals, going for the swings. This is stupid. Let's see where we're at camo-wise. <laughs> no way we're one kill away from getting our rotten camo. That's stupid. And then everything else is done except for our pack-a-punch. I can't believe this. All right, let's just hop right back in and get this done. All right, where's that one zombie? Who's going to be my rotten camo? It's going to be you, buddy. There we go. All right, time to get power back on now. Power is back online let's get pack a punch back and start working on getting this last camo done i can't believe we went down that late into it that was so stupid i should have been playing smarter i got i got way too cocky oh that's a level up did we get it oh there's gold viper let's go all right since i did talk about orda uh i'm gonna try to grind through rounds until we can get to him i do want to test out a melee weapon against him so I'll see you guys when we're fighting Orda. But really quick, before I do that, just to show you that I did not go down. There we go. It took 200 more kills, but we did it. All right. See you guys when we see Orda. All right. Orda's finally on his way. We're going to see what the size can do against them. I'm still kind of leaning on the, the option or the outcome that they're going to do like nothing. But it's worth a try. We'll see. Yeah, you can't chase me up here, can you, Mimic? Idiot. Oh, I think you can actually. All right, well, I'm out of here. But while I was waiting for Orr to get here, I did go down one time, but we already got Dark Aether, so challenge is over. Don't need to restart. I've just been waiting for this big fuck to show up. It's going to be a while till we can start swinging on him, though. So I'm going to cruise missile all the zombies that are spawning in just because. Orta looks sick in this view. Not going to lie. Are you in range yet, Orta? Yep, stand there and crit. You can scream all you want, buddy. Okay, he's finally getting close to where we can start hitting him. All right, he's got his foot in the door. I'm hitting my Tesla Storm. And we've already been squished. Are we dead? Oh, Jug saved us. Okay, we're doing a little bit of damage to him. Not a crazy amount, but it's working. We're just looking right at his foot demon. A face right on his feet. Okay, this isn't too difficult. I mean, it is difficult, but it's not... It's doing way more damage than I thought it would, to be honest. Zombies, I need you to get out of here. This isn't for you. This is between me and Orda. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Lots of zombies spawning. Don't need that. Come on. Is this really this weak? Look at all those hellhounds stuck under his foot. Oh, and now I'm down. I'm gonna start self-reviving. Orda, calm down, bro. I need you to stop attacking our reactor here. Don't stomp on me. Oh no, he's taking the power. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. I didn't, I mean, we, we did get a decent amount of damage on him. I wonder if it'd be different on any other beaches. Like, does he get here sooner on other beaches? Meaning that we can start doing damage to him sooner? I don't know. We did a lot more than I thought we would, but we definitely didn't take him out. So let's go ahead, get out of this game and go check out the camos for the Psy. All right, let's take a look at the camos here on the size. But really quick, before we look at the mastery camos, any camo that isn't mastery goes on the wraps for the size, which is like a really unique thing that they've done for this. I don't think any other weapon does this i think it looks really cool with all these other camos just on the wraps it doesn't change the metal part at all but then you get to the mastery camos and the metal part is really the part that changes the wraps stay the same on gold and on dark aether but they do change to that purple here on plague diamond like this is really unique it makes the weapon stand out more when you actually have a mastery camo for it so i think that's really cool but here's what gold viper looks on it very nice plague diamond also looking snazzy and dark aether looks pretty sick as well so let's go ahead Hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the size look like in game with Dark Aether, and these things look beautiful. Still, one of my favorite inspect animations in this game. They're so nice. It shows off each weapon individually, then does a nice sick flip, throws up the X. Ooh, these things are so nice. I just wish they did a little more damage and they're one shot in multiplayer, but eh. 
I, I guess it's fine for balancing, but they are a lot of fun to use, a lot of fun to move around with. Pretty decent weapons. I always come into these challenges thinking that they're going to be way easier than they are, and then I end up like getting cocky, making a stupid mistake, and then we had to restart our game twice. So I thought it was a pretty unique challenge, or maybe not unique, but uh, unique to this channel. We haven't done one of those challenges before, but I had fun doing it. It was fun to mess around the size, seeing how it can do against Orta. But uh, I think that's where we're going to end today's video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If then and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of kai content throughout the week uh make sure you follow my twitter and my instagram if you want to keep up with what i've been doing while i'm on vacation and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later